Dover, with a population of around 500, is down a bit south of Hobart, the capital of Tasmania. It's been a cool, frosty morning coming down 20 kilometres south of our place to Dover, a pretty fishing village with beaches, pastoral scenery and plenty of produce for the hungry travellers. One of Tasmania's most southern towns, Dover, sits at the head of the Esperance Bay and overlooks the small islands of faith, hope and charity. It has attractive beaches, unspoiled scenery, while well, quaint cottages and English trees give the town that old world charm. In 1792, Brittany Dontricasto explored this area and named the bay Esperance after one of the vessels in his expedition. Dover was originally established as a convict probation station and operated between 1844 and 1848. There is now little evidence of the town's penal past. Overlooking Faith hope and charity, the three islands out of Dover. You can see what happens with the violent, violent winds and storms that come through. This boat unfortunately sunk about three or four months ago. Fishing is a major industry in Dover. Last year I came down to this gorgeous area in Dover, down around the docks, to get some shots of the boats, and uh, here they are. After the convict settlement, the small town developed as a port. The main activity was shipping hue and pine to the world. By 1850, there are a number of sawmills in the area. It is claimed that the link with Dover in England is the hue and pine shipped from this area and used in the construction of the Dover Pier. Dover is overlooked by the majestic Adams Peak. Unfortunately today, it's clouded in secrecy. Just under a year ago, I came down to this idyllic jetty to take a photograph. It was a little bit like today. It was nice and calm, but unfortunately there was blue sky and you could see the magnificent Adamson's Peak, which sits well over a thousand metres high. And I set the camera up and I took half a dozen of what I thought were really good photographs at the time and at the end of it I said to Lynn, my wife, I think I might just go down and grab a, take the bend down for a walk and I just grab a few more shots and I used in fact the phone that I'm using right now and I came down and I took this shot. Just once in a while, the mobile phone delivers the most magnificent images.
One of the gorgeous old cottages on one of the three islands in the harbour of Dover. I hope you enjoyed our little tour of this gorgeous area, not far south of a home. It's a lovely little place called Dover. And uh, if you like it, just give me the thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, why don't you do that right now? And uh, I'll see you soon. See you later.